Well, how do you get to Carnegie Hall? You can take a car, you can fly. But you actually might expect us to say practice, practice, practice. But in this case, 13 ABC has your ticket to the best seat in the house. 13 ABC's Tony Geftis and photojournalist Todd Gardner are on their way to New York right now. They're meeting up with the Toledo Symphony Orchestra to capture its first ever performance at Carnegie Hall. And 13 ABC, the only station to bring you all access coverage. Here's Tony to explain. <laughs> The TSO is headed to NYC. This only happens once in a lifetime. You only have one debut. That debut is inside the legendary Carnegie Hall. It's a venue guest orchestras rarely play. For the Toledo Symphony Orchestra, this will be its first time in Carnegie in its 67-year history. You know, there's three really magical Mount Olympus-type venues uh, on the planet, and Carnegie Hall is one of them. The trip to Carnegie began two years ago. Organizers in New York launched a guest series called Spring for Music. Seven orchestras will perform at Carnegie each spring over the next three years. Toledo was one of the original seven, chosen from an initial field of 65. We kind of feel like we're going to the Olympics. Right. You know, we've been planning this for over two years now, and uh, when the big day comes, I think we're just going to try to take it all in and really enjoy it. Heads of the symphony explain Toledo is chosen in part because of its unique program. The night begins with a selection from Shostakovich, Symphony No. 6. The second half is a bold departure for the TSO. It's a play written by Tom Stoppard called Every Good Boy Deserves Favor. In it, the orchestra itself is a character. The stage show is so rarely performed, this marks the first time a full 80-piece orchestra has put on the play in New York, ever. The show's composer, Andre Previn, is even scheduled to be in the audience, along with hundreds from the Toledo area. We feel it's a once-in-a-lifetime thing to go to Carnegie Hall and be there when you know when you know somebody. Back on April 7th, it was pickup day for tickets to Carnegie, and many supporters wouldn't miss it. Toledo's gonna blow New York away. They're gonna love us. At Carnegie Hall, people from Toledo will make up exactly half of the house. There's a groundswell of support and partnership that, you know, I we feel as though we're really being lifted up under the shoulders of the community and representing them in New York. The trip itself represents a benchmark for the Toledo Symphony Orchestra and national recognition for the Glass City. With the Toledo Symphony Orchestra, Tony Geptis, 13 ABC Action News. And you can follow Tony and Todd's journey with the symphony and President's appearance at Ground Zero tomorrow, actually, as well, on air and online, on Facebook, and a special page of our website at 13abc.com. Welcome back to 13 ABC Action News at 6 in HD. Glad you stayed with us. The Toledo Symphony Orchestra is headed to New York City. 13 ABC is already there awaiting the big arrival. It is a journey that will take the TSO to Carnegie Hall for the first time ever. Tonight, 13 ABC's Tony Geftis and photojournalist Todd Gertner introduce you to some of the faces behind the instruments as Toledo takes Manhattan. It's the pinnacle. It's one of the pinnacles in the world of concert halls. There are very few stages that are like Carnegie Hall. I mean, Carnegie Hall is, is you know, it, it, it's a benchmark. I think because so many great orchestras and so many great performers have been in that place, to be in that same spot is, is really exciting for us. These three musicians are rehearsing for the performance of a lifetime at New York's legendary Carnegie Hall. I drove by it once. That's it. it. I drove by it once. That was, I've never been in. I've never even heard a concert there. Wow. So this is going to be a first for me. The 80-piece Toledo Symphony Orchestra calls the Peristyle its home. This concert hall seats 1,700, Carnegie, 2,800, and more than half the tickets for Saturday night are already sold to supporters from the Toledo area. Cheryl Trace plays violin. I'm starting to get butterflies a little bit, but um, once we play, it'll be fine. Once I have the violin in my head, I'm okay. Carnegie Hall being Carnegie Hall, it does put a little bit of added pressure, I would say. David Salzman plays tuba. He grew up in New York, but never got the chance to play the fabled venue. Few orchestras do. The Toledo Symphony will be there as part of a guest series called Spring for Music. It qualified for a coveted spot with a unique program, including a selection from Shostakovich and a play in which the orchestra itself is a character. 
oh, this is right up there, especially for my own orchestra to play in Carnegie Hall is just such a thrill. Nancy Lendrum plays harp. She's been with the TSO 30 years. Lendrum considers this one of the symphony's crowning achievements on one of the most recognized stages in the world. It's a chance for Toledo to be front and center. With the Toledo Symphony Orchestra, Tony Geftis, 13 ABC Action News. Welcome back to 13 ABC Action News in HD. Thanks for staying with us. The Toledo Symphony Orchestra is taking Manhattan, set to play at the legendary Carnegie Hall. And this afternoon they took off bound for the Big Apple. The 80-piece orchestra was one of seven chosen to play as part of the guest series Spring for Music Festival. And our Tony Geftis in New York as well, picking it up from there. The Glass City is taking the Big Apple by storm. I'm Tony Geftis along with photojournalist Todd Gertner here in Manhattan to greet the Toledo Symphony Orchestra for their big debut at Carnegie Hall. Just to give you an idea of where we are, down the block, Times Square. We're about two blocks away from Central Park. The hotel the symphony's staying in is the Park Central. And across the street is the fabled Carnegie Hall itself. The hall seats 2,800 people. More than half of those tickets are already sold to supporters from the Toledo area. Many of them rode along, flew with the symphony from Toledo Express, and they are right now getting off of the bus and getting ready for this exciting weekend. I knew we were coming, but when I saw the Central Park, I was like, I can't believe our orchestra is actually here. It's hard to believe. It's very exciting. Yeah, it's looking forward very much. The Toledo Symphony Orchestra will perform tomorrow night as part of Carnegie's Spring for Music series. The TSO, one of only seven orchestras across the country chosen for this year to be part of that guest series. Many of these performers have never played the venue before. It is a big moment for the Glass City as Toledo takes Manhattan. In New York, Tony Geftis, 13 ABC, Action News. Well, they're one step closer now to taking the stage. Members of the Toledo Symphony Orchestra are in New York tonight getting ready to play Carnegie Hall. 13 ABC's Tony Geftis and photojournalist Todd Gertner are there with them. And 13 ABC, the only local station to bring you coverage as Toledo takes Manhattan. One charter flight from Toledo Express and the Toledo Symphony Orchestra is ready to hit a high note in New York. Right now I'm just wondering, oh, I've spotted my luggage. That was my main concern at the moment, but um, right. you gotta take it one day at a time. Right. right. <laughs> The TSO is in NYC to play a guest concert at Carnegie Hall. It's part of Carnegie's Spring for Music series. Toledo is one of only seven visiting orchestras playing this year, and it's the first time the 67-year-old symphony has played Carnegie ever. This is really exciting. It brings back memories. The second biggest thing to this would just be a play outside of school, so this is really exciting for me. I hear the sound inside is really great, and I'm really looking forward to that. I think uh, I hear the acoustics are awesome. More than half the seats are already sold to supporters from the Toledo area. Many of them made the trek with the 80-piece orchestra. I'm a native New Yorker, grew up here in Brooklyn, so uh, you know I get the best of both worlds. Come and enjoy the Toledo Symphony in New York City at Carnegie Hall. The stage is set. The performers are in place for the Toledo Symphony Orchestra's big debut at Carnegie Hall tomorrow night, and 13 ABC will be there to capture the excitement. With photojournalist Todd Gertner in New York, Tony Geftis, 13 ABC Action News. And you can follow to uh, Tony and Todd's journey in the Big Apple on air and online on Facebook and a special page of our website, 13abc.com. Well, they're back from the performance of a lifetime at Carnegie Hall. The Toledo Symphony Orchestra traveled to New York City and back, and 13 ABC was the only station with them every step of the way. 13 ABC's Tony Geftis and photojournalist Todd Gertner shows us the shining moment for the Glass City. For the first time in its 67-year history, the Toledo Symphony Orchestra filled Carnegie Hall with music and longtime supporters. A symphony is one of our greatest assets in the city of Toledo. More than half the crowd Saturday night traveled to New York to support the TSO. Toledo being here and being out in such force and with uh, such a celebratory feel is just terrific. The University of Toledo hosted an event at the Park Central. Guests included TSO board president and head of the Andersons, Dick Anderson. Well, I think the arts may be suffering more than anybody else. And uh, to see this kind of a turnout, we got 1,400 people here. 
Yeah, I mean, that tells you something about the Toledo pride. The University of Toledo is not the only school holding a soiree. Maumee Valley Country Day is on the 10th floor of the New York Athletic Club holding a reception of its own. It was here you might have seen the Stranahans or several performers who are also graduates of Maumee Valley Country Day. Well, it's a, it's a family at Maumee Valley and we're very proud of our students. We have Zach Safadi is on stage tonight and we have two teachers, Pam Tomasetti and Kevin Hayes, who are performing in this show. And then we've got some musicians playing in the orchestra as well. Afterwards, a rap party with the orchestra at the Russian Tea Room. So much effort and talent and determination went into making it a fabulous win for Northwest Ohio. It was a night for Toledo to take a bite out of the Big Apple and make the city's mark on one of the most recognized stages in the world. With photojournalist Todd Gertner in New York, Tony Geftis, 13 ABC Action News. Welcome back to 13 ABC Action News at 6 in HD. Glad you stayed with us. The Toledo Symphony Orchestra is back from New York, but the memories are still fresh. And 13 ABC's Tony Geftis and photojournalist Todd Gertner were uh, with the symphony as it uh, played Carnegie Hall for the first time. And Tony, what a trip you had. Uh, tell us about it. Well, the word we kept hearing was fabulous, but really it was a lot of hard work and dedication to pull off the TSO's biggest performance ever. It started with an idea. The Toledo Symphony Orchestra would pair two pieces, Shostakovich Symphony No. 6 and the play Every Good Boy Deserves Favor. That play would be groundbreaking, with a full 80-piece orchestra performing a role. So the venue itself had to be big. And it doesn't get any bigger than New York City. TSO submitted its proposal two years ago to Carnegie Hall. The world-renowned concert hall was holding a guest series called Spring for Music. Three years, seven orchestras each year, and Toledo's would be among the first. Two weeks before the trip, the TSO began rehearsals and preview performances at the Peristyle. Then, Friday afternoon, musicians boarded a plane bound for New York City. Hours later, they had arrived, ready for the glass city to outshine the Big Apple. Saturday afternoon, hours before the performance, the Toledo Symphony rehearsed inside Carnegie, testing and adjusting the acoustics and checking stomachs for butterflies. I mean, maybe when the auditorium is full, I mean, this is just a rehearsal, so I'm doing okay. Then there were pre-parties hosted by Maumee Valley Country Day and the University of Toledo. TSO board member and president of ProMedica, Randy Ostra, said those here were representing all of Toledo. I think there's quite a uh, buzz, uh, great pride for Toledo, and they should be all very good about their orchestra. And after two years of preparing to play the fabled Carnegie Hall, it all comes down to this. The audience gave the Toledo Symphony a standing ovation. Half of those in the crowd, roughly 1,400, were from the Toledo area. Some were even here from China. New York and Toledo, which is the better place? Oh, I like Toledo. <laughs> she, she likes Toledo better than New York, believe it or not. <laughs> the night concluded with a wrap party at the Russian Tea Room. It feels great. It feels great. We are all very proud. We are all very relieved. I think we all feel that we have climbed up the ladder. We have, uh, you know, climbed up on the milestone uh, for, the, for the symphony. A chance to bask in the afterglow and reflect on the performance of a lifetime. This marks the first time the Toledo Symphony has played Carnegie in its 67 year history and the performers just kept saying they were so excited so many Toledoans were there to support them. Tony, now you were planning this trip for a long time, but things got changed when President Obama was planning on going to Ground Zero, right? Yeah, first for the president there, and so truly a trip of first for you. No Absolutely, question. yeah. It was the first time for the president, first time for the orchestra, and the first time I've ever been to New York City. Now, Todd and I didn't get a whole lot of downtime, but Friday night we did get to stop into the WABC Channel 7 studios mm -hmm. and take a look here. We watched the newscast in person. Todd and I are on the ends with that guy there, second oh. to the left. <laughs> You might recognize TV's Rob Powers, and uh, he gave us a little tour of the station. It was pretty exciting to see him there in the Big Apple, and 
He tells everyone in Toledo hi. So Aww. hi from Ron. <laughs> <laughs> you just brought back all kinds of stuff for us, Tony. We did. That's great job. Right. Thank job, you. Tony. Thanks, Tony.